and marching means more than 10,000 signatures on a piece of paper. Suffrage is not a dead issue. It's us. It's you. It's living, breathing women. We're not just a petition that can be crumbled up and tossed away. And this is what marching does. Marching shows the politicians that we women are united in our demand for political Show me Now, there's 146 no women burned to death in a factory fire last month. Where's your fire escape? Laws are made by elected officials. A fire escape can be required by law. A vote is a fire escape. We take Sunday off to la di da for you. We get fired on Monday. You have children, missus? They don't eat ballots. Go ahead, shut your head off. The ruling class are those who have a voice, and that voice is a vote. No one hears you. Votes for women. The parade's gonna happen, and uh, please, please, would you like one? The more the merrier. Anyone? You try to be who he should show. Vote is a fire escape. No, a vote is a fire escape. Not your heart in the street. That's right. A vote, a vote is a fire escape. Not just a business. Business. Your heart in the street. Mrs. Venslavska. Ruzha. Alice Paul. Now give me the rest, college girl. Helen Keller's in town. Arrange for me to meet her. I don't know which hotel. She's deaf and blind. If she found it, I'm sure you can. Hi, Mabel Vernon. I played uh, hockey with Alice at Swarthmore. Lucy Burns. DC police will not guarantee our safety if we march on the 3rd. Ida Wells Barnett from the Chicago delegation. I'm told you expect Negro women to march in a separate unit. At the back. Southern suffrage groups threaten to withdraw. Are the ladies afraid we'll march out of step? Call their bluff. We can't afford to lose their support, not with the Democrats in office. Who's we? Women? Or just white women? Now, wait a minute. We have one agenda. Suffrage. Add another issue. If we don't stand up now, what happens to Negro women when you finally get the vote? They'll keep us out of the polling place any way they can. Other colored groups have agreed to the compromise. Not perfect, but we got to be practical. Dress up prejudice and call it politics? I expected more from a Quaker. I'll march with my peers or not at all. I understand. <laughs> 